Hey guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to install a bare minimal Arch Linux. Now, of course the first thing you need to do is boot into your system, boot into your USB. If you need to connect to Wi-Fi you can use the command IWCTL device list and station WLAN 0 get networks and then station WLAN 0 connect let's say here let's get a 1 net 1334 and then type in your password I'm not gonna do it this now then after that you can type the quit or exit to quick way to test if I have internet arslinux.org good now we need to prepare the disk lsblk need to prepare the VTA so CF disk you can use F disk if you want but CF disk I'm comfortable using the CF disk because you get this graphical presentation. 100 megabytes for the EFI, since I set it up as EFI. 2 gigabyte for swap, and then the rest for the root. And then I'm gonna change this to EFI. If you are booted on the MBR, you don't need this EFI partition. Great, create clear LSBLK and I need to format the partition. So MKFS PFAT F32 dev VBA1 MKSWAT dev VBA2 and then MK MKFS ext4 dev pda3 now we need to mount this partition dev pda3 mnt now we need to create a directory for the efi cause it to boot efi and then mount the efi pda1 to mnt boot efi and then activate the swap oh. swap on dev pda2 now before you pack strap better to edit the pacman that's here configuration to enable the parallel downloads now for me 5 is enough this should be fine and then pack strap mnt base Linux Linux firmware and then the U code if you have Intel uh, CPU then use the Intel U code for me AMD U code is fine now uh, this shouldn't take long of course depending on your internet connection should take about a minute or two I'm just gonna fast forward the video here All right, that didn't take long. Let me just clear. And then, of course, we need to gener generate the FS tab. MNT to MNT ETC FS tab. And after that, you can ch root into MNT. And then we need to install uh, Network Manager. Grab. I just grab because it's just easier. And then since I have a EFI, EFI boot manager. Great. Clear. Then enable the uh, system CTL. Enable the network manager to get a internet connection, including Wi-Fi connection and then need to install the grub grub 
install target equals times 86 since I have the EFI 64 bit EFI directory to assign because I choose a different default and then if you want to add a bootloader ID may do so very good and then we need to regenerate the crab boot crab crab CFG and after that we need to assign a password for the root so I'm just gonna assign here password and then exit U mount A ignore this this is for the USB and then you can reboot and pray <laughs> I'm joking it should it should put there you go so you can then install uh, sorry like in now if you need to connect to Wi-Fi since we use the N network manager so it's gonna be NMTUI and then activate the connection here now this doesn't have a uh, local so on we can use the uh, host name we can use the system D tools so first is the host name host name CTL you can use the help and so I need to assign the host name CTL host name arch bear I should be there the fastest way to uh, log into this new host name is you can exit or you can do the source but exit is much much faster so as you see in there it's already there okay and then after that you can do the um, local CTL now if you're happy with the LAN C UTF-8 that test guest and if you need to set of course a key maps or layout it's local CTL but the quickest way is I don't think we have nano here no so pacman s nano first need to install the nano nano etc local now you need to uncomment of course the your local desired local for me is this one and then after that local gen now generally complete and then then time date time and date time date ctl so this is on UTC so you can use the help which is set time zone okay so time date CTL set time zone for me I know is Asia so and then we can check again the time date CTL now it's in local time okay and of course I will end up with a quick NeoFetch everybody loves NeoFetch see 148 packages and 150 megabytes all right I hope that helps you so now you see, now you know it's easy to install Arch. See you again next time. Bye.